Well, my first priority as governor is uh, to continue to build uh, the College and Career Academy network. I began that in 2007 when I became lieutenant governor, giving kids uh, really the opportunity to explore 20 or 30 different career pathways to find their passion in life. And what we've seen is 98% graduation rate, 100% placement rate, but along with that we've seen uh, their income uh, increase dramatically as well. It's a value-added proposition where a student that gets a normal high school diploma is valued at about $16,000. When they come out with industry certification or a two-year degree, uh, they're able to make $40,000 a year or, or greater. And so, uh, obviously, I believe in, in not in a one-size-fits-all, but giving people more choices and options. 25% of our kids today live in poverty. We have 40 counties that have 40-plus percent poverty. And I believe that education is the great equalizer, and it gives individuals the ability to garner the knowledge and skills uh, to, to really be self-reliant, self-sufficient. And so we want to give them better choices than what they have, turning to a life of crime or a life of dependency on government potentially. And this uh, obviously has had a great success. I want every student in Georgia to have access. Today we have 46, but as governor I'm going to make sure that every Georgian has more uh, options uh, with our college and career academies, our early colleges, along with dual enrollment and our apprenticeship programs across the state. So that'll be my first highest priority. Well, first and foremost, uh, let me say that I'm not running against any other candidate uh, for governor. I'm not running for a job. I'm not running for a title because I don't need one. I'm running to make a difference on the things that obviously I think uh, are important to the state of Georgia. Uh, we've been able to do some great things. Uh, Georgia's the envy of the nation. Uh, we've created almost 700,000 jobs, 40,000 businesses. Our GDP growth is almost at 30% along with our venture capital presence that really helps to give the capital that startup companies need for our state as well. Uh, it's quadrupled as a state and also you know you look at the assets within Georgia, uh, the fastest growing port, the busiest airport, uh, the Fortune 500 companies, the research institutions, we're on a great run and so we want to keep that. The reality is Georgia is a 26 billion dollar enterprise and so we need someone who obviously has experience that understands how to navigate through difficult public policy issues but also how uh, to make sure that we're on the forefront of economic opportunities as a state uh, making sure that we're investing in the infrastructure of Georgia roads and bridges but also broadband we're no longer bound by bricks and mortar we can do business anywhere in the world from any corner of our state and so I want to build that out through through incentivizing the private sector to do so. And so we're excited about you know where we have come from as being a person who has partnered with Governor Deal, but also Governor Purdue. Uh, having to govern through crisis allowed me, obviously, to, uh, to be able to cast a vision for what the future of Georgia can look like. And we've, when we cut taxes on manufacturing, now we have 35% more manufacturing jobs than we did then. And also we did a tax uh, credit credit for uh, the movie industry and today it is almost a ten billion dollar industry so these are the kinds of things that we can do when you have a leader who has a proven record who understands uh, the state but also where the priorities need to be in order to create that rising tide that lifts all boats where no one is left behind. Well, I think what separates me, obviously, is, is experience. Uh, it's a record. Um, it is the understanding of, of the state's challenges uh, and problems and ways in which we can solve those. And uh, that excites me. It excites me to think about the fact that Georgia is going to grow by over 4 million people in less than 15 years. And my job is to, is to shape and to plan for what that growth is going to look like uh, for Georgia. And we have that experience. We have have the understanding. Uh, we're not going to have to have on the job training. Uh, we know what it takes because we've been in the number two spot in the state. And so uh, we're, uh, I'm excited about what, uh, you know, what
what the future is going to hold. And by building on these blocks that I just talked about, uh, keeping our taxes low, we cut taxes this year from 6% to 5.5%. I want to put zero-based budgeting in place along with program-based budgeting. So we're really prioritizing our funding, and I think we can gain about 10% efficiencies. Uh, but along with cutting taxes, we've got to make sure our regulatory environment is fair and just as well. Uh, and we streamline permitting processes to help businesses get up and running where they can employ uh, people within our state. Uh, but also our tort system staying fair and just. But lastly, is building a workforce that is second to none. Every business owner that I talk to, and I'm a business owner for 32 years, and I can tell you both small and large companies, every success I had was based on the people that I surrounded myself with. So if we create this pipeline of workers out of our educational system that is aligned with industry needs, where they have the, the talent that they need in order to grow, then we're going to be a beacon for our state, but also a beacon to the nation that says this is where we want to be uh, in locating our company. And so that's the thing that, that separates me as a person who obviously has a clear vision of where we want to go, but also an understanding of how to make that become a reality and a track record that has demonstrated that uh, over the past eight years.